All right, so back to this part two. And uh, again, just being honest, I just really had to use the bathroom. So I was like, figure I'm not gonna, I don't know how long this part will be. So it depends on how much theory crafting speculation I want to get into, but so I figured I'd just go and then come back, right? But where were we? Where was I? Again, or I remember, right? So we're kind of setting up the guidelines baseline for kind of who would pretty much actually be participating in this run for the election. And again, because I went over, okay, you know, the final gamble between Yumiko and Ray. Uh, Ray got the Momobami family name and the votes, or not the votes, in the money as to where Yumiko got the votes from the auction, right? And then again, I mentioned how, so Ray's no longer in, he kind of, she kind of did her own thing, right? You know, cut her hair, um, again, marked the clan's name, symbolizing her kind of taking over, as well as having a 3 billion yen from Iruka and uh, Kaede's uh, life plans, right? But then again, you know, I, I knocked out Yumiko because she mainly, seemingly, she just bled and then kind of, what's it called? Uh, bled and then like a, uh, way or gambled away and kind of uh what would you call it? whittled down her pool to like from what could have probably been the front runner and at least like a couple few hundred votes to pretty much nothing so and with the conclusion we got i'm pretty much knocking yumiko out of the running i'm th with how they concluded and closed the show if they wanted yumiko to become president that would have happened, but since it ended off with her gambling it all away, I'm assuming that's what they want with her character. So we're assuming that and that she's basically no longer in the running. However, and again, this is why I touched on, we need to look at who else earned from that auction and who else was, again, got votes from that. We knew that Ryota, he lost all his votes. He bet his 10 away, so he has three. He's not part of it at all. Naughty bet all our votes away. It was like a last-ditch resort to get... <laughs> Yumiko's attention and Yumiko just ignored her. It was hilarious. It's like, Ryota, why are you speaking? Why are you speaking to no one? <laughs> are you are you hallucinating? That shit was funny as fuck. But again, so she's no longer part of it, right? The and again, right, we saw that the Momobami clan who had pulled together their votes actually, uh, again, they only broke even, right? So they pretty much have the same amount, or at least the rest of the Momobami members, excluding Ray, they pretty much had the same amount. And again, also, as I mentioned, right, you know, the rest of the school, they pooled their votes together for rape. So again, that's something to where there's no question, you know, where the rest of those votes went, right? So, or where they are, they all got pooled there. So, and then we knew the Momobami, the rest of the Momobais broke even. That leaves, again, a few people. It leaves Mary, who most certainly got some more, and we knew that she was gunning for the presidency, so that certainly makes her pretty much a front-running candidate at this point since she didn't gamble all of hers away like Yumiko. With, again, the VP supporting her because we know that she's being supported by the vice president. The VP, I made that mistake in the previous part. The VP isn't her own uh, candidate. She's supporting Yumiko, that, or not Yumiko, Mary there. We have, again, right? And then we have, what's it called? Uh, the president of the traditional Japanese culture club. She got away with some votes as well. So she's also there, right? So that's those are the two. On a, well, I guess three if you include the rest of the Moambamis. Those were really, and even so, we know the Moambamis, you know, they only broke even, right? So it's really Mary and then the president of the traditional Japanese culture club who really got out of the, well, and Yumiko, but Yumiko gambled them all away. So we're knocking her out of the race, you know. It's really them two who got the bulk and majority of the votes from that uh, again, you know, auction, right, when we can see there. So, again, that's something to where, you, where we now know that they're probably the front-runner two candidates or front-running two candidates because of all the votes they gain. And since we know the Momobamis or rest of them, they only broke even. So they're the two front-runners in the election, right? So that's what we can establish from there. And, again, we knew that Mary already had a decent amount on top of that. Um, but, again, we knew that... Uh, but that also brings the president of the traditional Japanese culture club up there as well, who originally, uh, who originally lost her votes, um, again, early on, but I guess she gained them well more than back with this, so there's that, right? But those are only two people, right? We knew of other people who didn't partake or take part in that game, right, who also have, a uh, votes that, again, and, you know, are also front runners in the election up there, or potential candidates to win, so... The third person is obviously the president, you know, the current president, right? 
again, we knew that she had, she was the front runner before. She's probably realistically in third now, again, because of that, right? So I guess let's let's just start, not, let's not go in order, let's just bring up all the characters. So we have Mary, president of traditional Japanese culture club, the rest of the Momobamis, those were the ones who partook in the election. Yumiko gambled her way out, Ray lost all his votes, her votes, so those two are outie. Ryota never had a naughty lost our votes, so all of them are out. Then again, number four, that's again the present, right? And we knew that she was originally in first place. She's probably more realistically in third now. But again, we knew that she still, she was front running, you know, front runner Lee in the whole time. So she still has a decent amount of votes or the bulk, a bulk of uh, a decent chunk of votes for that. So she's number four. Five, we know you met me, right? We know that she's still part of the competition. She not only got the votes from her fans, but she also ended up defeating the one uh, actress from the Bami clan, right? Who is kind of, again, you know, what would you call it? Uh, who portrayed, or I guess, you know, uh, disguised herself as the mask girl. So we knew that she she has a, again, decent amount of votes, like a bulk of votes there. So she's the fifth kind of person again, right? So she's the fir- fifth person in that uh, competition. So there's that, right? Uh, again, and those are probably the top five, being entirely honest. I mean... Because here's here's the thing; those are probably definitively a top five. The order is probably que- the order is probably questionable, but I feel like those are definitively a top five, right? We're not gonna include any separate Mom- uh, Bami family clan members because we knew that they all pooled their votes for uh, what's it called for that one game, right? Again, for the auction game, and they just broke even, right? So we knew they pooled their votes together. So we're assuming, and even if they're not fully, what's it called? Even if they're not fully, um, again, you know, aligned or, like, together, or even if they're still, you know, have votes spread out among them, or amongst them, uh, what's it called? Ah, shit. Among Us, I swear to God, has fucking ruined the generation, but even if, again, they're not really aligned or their votes aren't, again, um, pooled together in that instance, right, we can assume that logically speaking you know as the election draws to a close they would probably do that um again in the near future seeing as though one of them um again even if it's not a person who wanted even if it's like let's say uh what's it called even if it's not you know the ideal candidate right just one of them you know would be better than anyone else even if it's not like let's say the person who wants to be it right so again right i feel like that's just again it not only does it make it easier but i also feel like it's something that would logically happen like let's say you're fucking one of the bomby family members like again if like let's say each of them have their own votes which is kind of how it was until they pulled them together for that auction but even if again they take them back right and you know they keep their votes separate and they keep uh gambling right to win like eventually you know that none of them are front runners none of them at their very top so again, it's something to where as the election can draw a close, again, we can assume that and what makes sense and logically speaking is that, again, you know, they would pool their votes together. It's again, one of them, even if it's not like you, let's say, would still be more ideal than again, just having a rando. So there's that. So we're, I'm going to assume them as like a conglomerate or like a collective sort of force, which again, like kind of how we see in that auction. Uh, so there's that, right? So they're one of the four and then the other four, one of the four like parties is the rest of the bombies uh excluding ray and then again those other four are the president uh mary uh umemi and then the president of the uh, traditional japanese culture club and then student council president right so those, those are the five and they're definitely the five front runners but we still got some other people right you know in the mix we still got some other people so number six kaede is still in there even though we hadn't really seen him uh, he won that match and got the 40 votes, right? So again, or I guess he got, I don't even think he got 40 votes. I think it was less. I think it was, what was it? It was like, I don't even think, I think it was honestly like 20 or maybe even less than that. I think it was like 16. He still got some votes from then. We know again how skilled he is. And again, his inspiration from Aruka, right? You know, logically speaking, if it were to continue, he would be in the running for that and try to make something there, Right. Again, kind of almost like in an inverse position he was when he challenged or bet Yumiko, right? This time he's against the odds, but it's something to where, again, based on him already having come back, right, he needs to continue for it, as well as from uh, Iruka's sort of motivation, right? So there's that. So he's also in the mix still, Kaede. Um, 
So he's there, right? Iruka's obviously out. Uh, Ryota's out. Again, Nadi's out. I don't think there are any other original student council members who were left in the game. Because the one dog girl is the fucking election committee head, right? You know, overseer, right? You know, the student council, you know, personal secretary, like, assistant or secretary personal assistant. She was never really in the running. She just bet against Yumiko, right? It wasn't even for votes. Um, again, right? The vice president sided with Mary. Uh, Kaede, again, I already mentioned. Um, again, and it's it's so, like, none of the R student counts, and then obviously the traditional Japanese culture club, right? So none of them, other student council members are in. And again, we, we were assuming that the Bami clan, they're all pooling together as one, right? If not in this instance, as the election comes to a close. So again, right? I mean, that may be the, those may be like really, I guess if we're going to add Kaede, even though Yumiko doesn't have a lot of votes, we can still put her in. I honestly don't think she's going to win because if they want her to win, they would have made it that way. But instead they ended up by her gambling it all away, basically to cement her character. So we can still throw uh, Yumiko as like a seventh in the mix, right? But the main battle is between the top five that I had already mentioned. So again, right? And with that, I think we can finally get into kind of what I think would happen, right? So and again, what, what, what would go on there? So again, it's just like, again, and I already kind of laid it out with the people involved in the Bami clan, you know, again, pooling together, right? So again, it's just, I don't, yeah, there's, I don't think there's anyone else I'm missing, because, the, again, the rest of the top ten were comprised of Bami members or people who lost. <laughs> so, again, right, just... The big one who didn't participate in the auctioneer game was a Yumemi, who still has a decent... As well as the president, who still have a decent amount of influence. But, again, Mary Traditional Japanese Culture Club, as well as, uh, what's it called? You know, the Bami pool and collective, right? Still, again, or the rest of them, right? Still hold a decent amount of votes. And then Kaede and Yumiko hold a little, but I'm basically going to exclude them, right? Because, again, again, Yumiko, she gambled it all away. And Kaede, again, you know, he got whatever votes from that game. I'm not even sure if he got any votes. He just won that game, right? Um, or I guess not even won. He just didn't lose. Uh, but, again, it's something to where, yeah, we just, I guess, never see him again. But I guess maybe in that instance he fulfilled Aruka's wish. So we're just going to look at the top five when I think will happen. But, again, it's been, you know, long enough, so let's just get into it, right? So... What I think would happen. So in that instance, what I think would happen is, so it's important to note that again, I, I think a lot of it will be determined be determined by pretty much what the Momobami, you know, pool and collective does or like agrees on what to do, right? Because Yumiko, she's no longer a front runner because she bled and whittled away and gambled away all our votes. So she's no longer a front runner. So who they consider to basically be the number one threat is now out of the game, right? He's gone. So, again, that, that kind of, again, leaves them in a bit of a pickle and a bit of a, uh, what would you call it? Um, in a bit of a, what's it called, tight spot. So they have a few options and choices. They could go after the current president and try to knock her out. But that's kind of an all or nothing gig, right? Or like deal. And if they, again, I feel like there's just way too much... What would you call it? I feel like, if anything, there's just way too much uh, on the line there. I feel like that's way too risky of a move for them, at least before, like, the last minute before the election closes. That would be, like, a last-ditch attempt, like, last uh, resort effort. So I don't think they necessarily go after the president. If anything, I think they'd probably try to go after the armed front runners. We know they already beat the tr president of the traditional Japanese culture club by poisoning her, which she somehow survived without an antidote. We... Or I guess maybe she did get the antidote, but, like, she somehow survived that. So I think it would make logical sense for them to go back after her, right? Maybe to go back after, uh, what's it called, uh, Mary, right? Mary, since I don't think they've actually gambled against Mary yet. I don't think there's been, it, well, except with the auction, uh, again, right, gamble. But I don't think any of those members have gambled against Mary yet. We saw that Mary got her chips from the vice president and then gambling against actually no she did she gambled against uh because she was the one her and then Ryota beat the again you know telepathic sisters right so maybe so I, I think they'd go after the president of the Japanese culture club first since they had already beat her and then again the other two would be Mary and Yumemi both of which uh what would you call it right both of which um 
bombing mem family members have lost to. So for them, it'll just kind of be, again, a tough decision there. But I think their most logical bets to go after traditional Japanese culture club president first. And I guess kind of the question there and the question that raises is, would anyone kind of help her? Because if it's her versus the entire Bami family, I think she loses, right? She already lost before. I don't think that changes. Maybe if, like, Mary allies with her against the Bami fa clan family or something, maybe even, like, let's say Umemi. Like, I think she might stand a chance. Honestly, not even really Umemi. I think if Mary does, then she would stand a chance. But, again, if she doesn't, I think she's out of the game pretty much. So... That, that's kind of unfortunate there. And that would also require Mary to kind of see that coming, right? And then again, maybe it, either to see that coming or I guess just naturally go ally with her on her own volition, which I honestly don't think is the case. I think if Mary allies with anyone that game it, or anyone in that instance, it would be you, Memi, because it would be a situation where like them would pretty much, they would plan to take out everyone else and then eventually go head to head in the finale. So I don't necessarily think it would happen. Again, I see Mary more so probably allying it with uh, Yumemi there, right? In kind of her end game or end goal vision being, okay, take down, you know, ally with her, take down everyone else, and then eventually go head to head in the finale, right? I don't see her allying with the president. I mean, her the whole point in her whole entire goal is to basically gain the presidency for herself. So again, I see her. So unfortunately for a traditional Japanese culture club, president what i see here is i see mary allen with you memi pretty much against everyone else in order to take them down and then them fight out duke it out in the end i see the bami clan going after president of traditional japanese culture club since she wouldn't have anyone else to ally with her be on her side unless maybe the president swoops in the current class president right unless the student council president swoops in and then helps her out kind of like she did with her against Yumiko in season one when that initially happened and she became a house pet. But unfortunately, I just don't see her doing that this time. I see her letting things play out and again, letting the Bami family take her down yet again, take our vote. So there's that, right? And in that instance, that leaves pretty much three major parties at play or playing for, again, you know, the outcome of the election here, right? That leaves the current student council president, right? Who still has all of her votes. And again, Kim probably is being backed by, again, her personal assistant secretary, as well as the rest of the student council, really. Um, again, right, with a few notable exceptions. Uh, again, or at least the rest of them who aren't running. So we've got her, we've got the Bami clan with their own earnings, as well as the earnings of the traditional Japanese culture club president. Because I just don't, again, maybe the president goes to the offender. I just don't see it in this instance. She did it the one time with her against Yumiko, but I feel like, she would let things play for it in this instance. So then with her earnings as well. And then you have the combined Mary and then Yumemi. Again, it's an odd combo, but I honestly see them basically teaming up and planning to take down everyone else and then duke it out amongst themselves in the end. I think that makes sense there, right? Because we know they both want it, right? Obviously, again, you know, Yumemi had her own... Uh, battle against what's it called uh you know her actress like idol that she didn't necessarily want to win but she came out on top of anyway but with that again that could bring a sense of renewed vigor for her and again actually trying to gun for the presidency like mary is so i honestly see i do see them teaming up in that situation so there's that right so you've got really those three parties or groups like again gunning for it i don't really see ar candidates again you know kaede i guess i'm not even sure if he has votes but if he did I just don't think he has enough, and I think him at least winning in that instance was enough for Iruka, right? Iruka's out, again, I guess Yumiko technically, but if, if that's what they wanted, they would have just made it happen, right? So as opposed to, again, her gambling away all our votes. So we're not really including her, we're just looking at those three. In this instance, I guess Yumiko would support Mary, but we're looking at those three parties, right? Maybe it's something to where what it comes down to is again right it comes down to some sort of what's it called a three-way gamble there right but it's quite possible right and if it does come down to a three-way gamble uh again here, here's what i'll say right if it comes down to a three-way gamble i see it as mary and Yumemi coming out on top right the reason being that again i, I think the president as an individual is at an inherent disadvantage in a three-way gamble I, I i don't think she'd win there and then the Bami clan, again, they're, funny enough, the inverse, right? Because they have so many people, I also think they're at an inherent disadvantage in 
in in terms of like infighting and our stuff like that versus Mary and Umemi who have just again the two really two or three people is kind of ideal in a situation like this so I think they'd have more of an advantage there right and because they have their own separate votes they're just holding off until they become the final two versus the Bami clan who would have to pull the, together their votes in this instance so at least in terms of that I think if it's a three way it comes down to Mary and Umemi winning and then they go against each other and I think obviously Mary wins there so that would lead to Pretty much Mary in the person we find enough with the release of Kakiguri twin, the person who we see from the very start, right? You know, join the school and kind of again work her way up there, and that we also see in Kakiguri as well, right? Again, we see her win, and that's again, I think honestly, since we when we know that that's her goal, so it would make sense. But again, that's if it came down to a three way, that's what I see happening. If it comes down to like a versus. Like one ver honestly, I think what would happen is it would first be Mary and Umemi versus the Bami clan. I think that's what would happen first. I think the Bami clan, they'd save the current president for last. And I also think, again, if the president isn't going to interfere with you again, you know, against uh, the traditional Japanese culture club versus the Bami clan, right? She's not going to interview in that situation like she did when the president of the Japanese culture club was facing Yumiko. If she doesn't interfere there. I don't see her interfere in, in uh, Mary Numemi versus the Bami clan. So, but in terms of that, and we know that she really, honest to God, doesn't care about the Bami clan or like the Momo Bami clan or like name, even though she's technically the head. The only reason she introduced them as part of, again, this election gunning, like the whole election thing, was to just spice things up, literally just to spice things up. Because we know she's the same as Yumiko, right? And the opposite to her personal assistant secretary fine enough but i don't see her interfering there and i still see i'm gonna be honest i still see mary and umemi coming out on top in that instance i just think with both of them i think they're both competent enough obviously they're not yumiko level but i think and that's again right but i think they're both competent enough to where they could ultimately again come out on top in that instance or case scenario right and beat the bomby clan at their own game and get all their holdings so and then the council president probably has her way to get again to get her own earnings right and that's something where i see it as ending up the council president versus again mary and the new memmy i'm going to be honest if it comes down to that i see the president winning simply because it then because if it's the president versus the momo bombies Honestly, I don't see that as the end game because kind of the whole point is that the president doesn't care. It's not this like she's doing it like Ray to rebel against the Bami family, right? She just doesn't care straight up, right? Like the Bamis are like nothing to her. She's just doing it to spice things up. So I don't see her versus the Bamis being the end game. I'd see again the Bamis getting taken out by let's say a combined Mary and Umemi. And then maybe it for between it's a three way between them at that point, right? You know, the president Umemi and Mary, but even if Mary and Umemi team up, I still see the president winning simply because I think then it becomes something to where it's like you're not changing the status quo. Since it's again a 1v1 as opposed to simply a three way, I see it as something to where you're betting, you're gambling, and then betting and putting and risking everything on the line. But it becomes something to where the president wins regardless, and then the status quo doesn't change. It'd almost be like if Yumiko won, funny enough, right? It'd be the exact same thing. I mean, that's the whole point of Kaede saying, you know, how do you feel about all the people whose lives your compulsive gambling, you know, obsession is ruined, right? And she says she feels guilty because she doesn't feel anything, right? So I, I honestly think it's something where if it ends up between, in any sort of 1v1 against the president, I, I think the president wins, right? Even if it's like Mary and Yumemi combined, I see a president win, even if, especially if they're separate. Granted, if it's a three-way between the Bommies, Mary Umemi, and then the president, I see Mary and Umemi women winning. I don't see any situation to where the Bommies win, right? I, I just think, you know, they're fodder, basically, right? They just kind of, they're just kind of to give backstory on the whole family. But I think they're fodder, right? But I do see Mary and Umemi winning, as again, we knew that Mary's goal from the very start was, or not from the start, but as she declared to Yumiko while she was knocked out due to poison, was to win the presidency and become president. And we knew that Yumemi, again, she she kind of went through her decisive moment when, again, gambling against her idol and actress, right? But through that, they may have given her enough vigor again, right? And enough uh, 
what would you call it, um, and enough uh, motivation in order to try to become president as well. Granted, if it ends up as Mary versus you met me, I do think Mary wins there, right? And at least you met me, you know, did a good job and has her fans supporting her, right? God, I love her fucking fan group. Like, low-key, that's the best part of the show, fucking seeing them pop up. Again, the part when she says, like, oh, she hates them, but they say, we don't care about how you feel about us. We're here to support you, right? It's like true fucking fan group. Like, again, they're, like, low-key, besides, again, you know, the assistant, you know, sec, uh, assistant, like, uh, what would you call personal sister, like secretary to the president, class president, right? Again, the, the fucking you met me fan club, right? It's low key the best part of the show, but again, I again, I think I kind of went over kind of everything I want to and kind of how I view as though the election would play out. We could go into stuff post election, but I honestly think, regardless of who wins the election, I honestly don't think much is going to change. Like, because I think that's kind of the whole point of the show is that it's like a corruption, right? You know, it corrupts. Like, we knew the one dude who was on the council who wanted to take down the house pet system. His, he really just wanted to take over for himself. Same thing with Kayate there, right? But something to where, again, I think in this instance, it's something to where I think that that's kind of the main point is corruption and how that corrupts. So I think regardless of if, oh, you know, the president, Mary, Umemi, the bombies win, I think everything stays the same. I don't think anything changes. Because, again, right, with the system the president set up, right, and everything there, again, the whole point is, and the whole aspect of it is corruption. And it's something where I think it's corrupt. Again, you know, was it the lust for money corrupts absolutely or something, right? Or I don't know. But, again, we know gambling is part of that. Again, Yumiko is a different exception, right, as well as the president. And they do it for the risk, but the president also set up the system to begin with, so... But anyway, it's something where I don't think, honestly, who, who, I, I honestly don't think who wins the election matters because I honestly don't see anything changing is that's kind of what I see as the whole point. And again, that's kind of the whole point of what's it called, you know, Ray's like character arc is that like, oh, he realizes that again, the bombies, they didn't kill the person who saved him. She gambled her life away in that instance, right? So that's really it, it there. But again, I do see it. I laid out how I think the election would play out from the top five, pretty much going into multiple different scenarios for how it would end. Again, I think the most likely winner is Mary, then probably the president, and then Umemi, and then the bombies. I think the bombies are fodder. I don't think they're going to win, but I guess who knows? We'll see. Maybe there's a conclusion. Maybe there isn't. Who knows, right? I mean, we got, it seemed to conclude and close again with you, Yumiko gambling all roads away. As well as, again, close with, uh, again, you know, what's it called? Uh, Kakiguri Twin with them not making whatever third season they would have needed to make. Or just a couple or a few more episodes. But, again, with that, I don't think I really have anything else. This one was a bit long because I already did the part one that I stopped. That was, like, for five minutes. And this was uh, 28. So, but that's all I've got for season two. Now what I'm going to do is go rewatch Kakiguri Twin. And then watch the live action. And then I'll probably make a couple of videos, one for each of those, right? But with that, I don't really have anything else to say, so I'm going to end it here. So, yep, that's it for this one. See you in the next one.